Jonesy and the Outdoors. Good morning. Welcome to part two, day two of the St. Hilda's Way. And today we're going to try and get two more miles in. Try to do another, but nice to do another 15. But we didn't, get, didn't manage that yesterday. So we only managed 12. So 12 enough. If we can do another 12, 10, 12 mile a day. Um, that'll be all right. But we'll, we'll show you around. Um, Saint, this is the other St. Hilda's uh, church. It's dead remote. Um, you've got a village two and a half mile that way. Um, it's just it's very remote for like a proper remote. Uh, last night, um, last night <clears throat> it was a bit uncomfortable. The wind did get up a little bit, but not everything was fine. It didn't get wet or anything. Uh, it did rain a little bit, but it's all right. Dan's just sorted his feet out there. We've had breakfast. I just keep forgetting to record. We did get stumbled on. Whatever, it was just the grounds came. He was just coming to cut the grass. He wasn't. He was pretty sound. Uh, he was asking what we were doing and stuff like that. There's definitely some holes. We didn't get there. Uh, there was no ghost. No ghosts came down to see us. Um, but some of the graves in here are extremely old. I think I've seen one from 17, the 1700s. Um, and some of them are 18. No, what's that one? 1877. And there's another one, 1856. And when you're looking at the ages on them as well, <clears throat> they didn't die old. They died quite young, to be honest. So, I'm going to get. Get the rest of our stuff packed up, and then we're gonna t have a gentle, a gentle walk because Dan's got blisters. We just had to pop them, and get the put some bandages on. So we're just gonna take our time and see how far we get today. So stay tuned. Right, come out of the. Uh, the loop, well, the valley, what we were in, it's called the horrible loop, what we're going to call it. And we can see Danby from the other side of the valley. Um, and I'll just show you. You can just see it over there. You won't be able to see it on the, uh, the camera, but there's a little pub there, and that's where we were sat. And it's just, it's, it, it's mad. It's mad. How far? It, like from there, we can walk across there now, and it'll take us about an hour, probably about half an hour, five minutes to get there. But it's just took us, including the stops and the detours and the all that type of stuff. It's the next day now, and we're only going back past it. We were meant to be further up at this point, about three miles ahead of what we are now. Uh, but it's just horrible. When things go wrong, what's that low comes from? So we're going to keep going, and we need to be there, about there. That's where the beacon is. But there's a road just a little bit down from it, and that's where we need to be back up at. So the horrible loop is almost over. Right guys, I'm just trying to keep the noise down because there's a fair few people about and I don't want like an idiot talking to my phone. Um, we've just arrived, well, about, about 20 minutes ago. We just arrived at Danby Lodge National Park Centre. Um, they must do things for like kids and tourist groups and stuff like that. Yeah, but there's a cafe there, um, so it's got two cans of pop. It costs us £4.10 for two cans of pop. Um, so the there's toilets here, so I want to go to the toilet as well. Instead of uh, digging a hole. So we're going to have this, and they do, oh, another thing they're doing as well. They're trying to cut down on plastic bottle waste. 
So they do fair free refills of uh, water, tap water. So that's perfect for us because we are starting to run low. So we're going to have enjoy the lovely sunshine, have a drink this a lovely refreshing pop, carbonated beverage. Nearly gone. Nearly gone. And I'm going to refill, go to the tour, and then we're going to set off. Hi. So we're just on the uh, on the mirrors now. We've uh, come, was it two mile or two and a half? Since two miles, said two mile. Um, Dan's just checking his feet because he's feeling like he's getting another blister. And his, his feet are hurting. Mine are hurting as well, to be honest. But there's uh, plenty of sheep to keep us company. Morgan stinks. Lovely. Plenty of sheep. So, so far we've done. I don't know how far we've done today so far. It's over five miles. to uh, the, the village of Leaholm. Uh, it's a nice little village, very uh, countryside, very country. So, uh, it's got a little pub in there, a little shop, petrol station. Um, it's not like a big branded petrol station, it's like a little local one. It's got a school. Uh, it's got two churches. And then it said peaceful. We had uh, two little idiots. Thought they were clever, blasting the rave and all that going through it. Just being idiots really, just driving stupidly. And, uh, the lad jumped in that and then they were just dancing about just being absolute prats to be honest um, but we're just sat there next to the cenotaph oh my hair um, but if we go down what hair? oh you're right down there there's a like a path that takes you down to the river so we've got to do another four mile a day and then that'll reach our ten mile mark for the day and then we're going to try and find somewhere because uh, it's 24 now I think so we're gonna get down there find somewhere there's like a little wood there's a wooded area so we're gonna have a look at that hopefully we can get in and then hopefully tomorrow we do another 10 mile we'll uh, hopefully be in we'll be in the center of uh, Whitby so it won't be a couple of mile then we'll, we'll hopefully have completed it but it's going so far it's been a bit of a slog today going up, up these uh, up the mirrors and uh, down up and down the hills and stuff like that so we're going to have a drink and then we're going to crack on. Alright guys, that's uh, me and Dan set up now. 
Um, we're getting the food on. Uh, we're going to get our heads down in probably about an hour or two. We're going to have a chill out. We're going to have a coffee. I've got a peri peri chicken for the tea tonight. So exciting. And I've got some dry uh, roasted peanuts, KP ones. I've had KP in a long time. So, the walk today, we, uh, we've just just done, literally, just done under 10 mile. And yeah, you're gonna have people say it in the comments, if you do get anyone in the comments, or anyone say, oh well, you know, that's, that's an outlast, it's took you all day just to do that. If you see in the train, what me and Dan have just had to walk, including he's got blisters, and I've just looked at the bottom of my foot, I've got two tiny little ones, so I'll sort them out. Um, but the train, it's like you're going up that, and then you're going down, then you're up, and then you're down. It's been an absolute nightmare. It's, uh, it's been a hard day today. My legs are failing today, like. Um, but we did have a bit of a lion today. We got up at eight. Um, but we needed that, considering the day before we'd been up since four o'clock the day before. So we were exhausted. Um, I was physically and mentally exhausted. Um, started breaking down uh, last night. Um, had a bit of a bit of a moment, um, but we won't talk about that. Um, so yeah, we've got the tea on. We're just going to chill out. I'm going to have a coffee. I've got some uh, three in one. I can see that uh, New York uh, coffees. So it's been alright. The area we would have liked to be a bit in you know, a bit away from the trail, but it's the only flat um, flat area we could find in this forest next to a river. Um But it's a nice area. Just hopefully we don't get any visitors tonight by anyone. Uh but we didn't want to, I didn't really want to press up anymore because it was, it, I think the time I looked it was just getting after six o'clock, half six. And I said if we can't find anywhere anywhere at all and then it gets starts to get dark that's well it gets dark at nine but it's farmers fields and if they've got crops growing it's going to be a bit of a problem and it, it's the case of getting caught as well on farmers land oh, they don't really want to be bothered with that so I'm, you never know you could have had a farmer come down and say right i want you off my land so we would have to leave and it could have been dead late and then it's me walking through the night don't really want to do that so we've stopped here yeah it's a nice little area but that's going to be it for the day, today, sorry. Uh, I'm not going to do, this will probably be the second, still, tomorrow will be still part, this the second part of the video anyway. Um, but I, so thank you for watching this far and I'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Day three of the St Hilda's Way. It was a bit of chill. It was, a, it was definitely a cold one last night. I kept waking up. It was freezing. Um, but at least it's not pissing it down. It was a dry night last night. Uh, but I another ten miles hopefully today, and then we hopefully will be on the outskirts of uh, Whitby. So we'll probably camp there and then hopefully tomorrow we'll go into it and get fish and chips and a pint. Something, something to look forward to. But got a little bit of a, after we set off, got a little bit of a bank to go up. Then hopefully we'll be at the top. But we're going to get something to eat. I just had a wash. I've teared down. I've had a wash. Um, I was actually exhausted last night. Like, I fell asleep straight away. Uh, there was a bloke, we had to keep the noise down because there was a bloke over the side of the river. Uh, he was fishing. So we just kept the noise down. We weren't spotted or anything. Um, but it's all good, all good. So get some to eat and then let the today's venture start. I was just about to come in the uh, Egton. Not uh, just on the outskirts of it. 
There's not a lot of path. So, I have to watch ourselves with the cars. But I've come back to civilization now. So, I'm just going to keep following this trail. Hopefully, there'll be a shop not too far so we can get a bottle of pop or something like that. Fill up with some water. Um, just uh, walking down one of these, uh, well, we thought it was a trail, but it's actually a road. It's called Barnet Road. Um, just gone past Egdon, uh, the estate, just uh, just down the road there. And we've come across this building, but it's actually got a sign on saying Barnet Road Tull. It shows you the prices. Um, you can tell how, how, old, how old it is, because of what the, what the uh, prices were. From 19, August 1948. It tells you all the different prices. So you got, uh, let's have a look, like a hearse, 6D, mad that, history everywhere, it's been converted into a house now like, but we're going to keep cracking on. Right, we're just uh, taking five minutes. Dan's just trying to sort his foot out. He's having some problems with it. It's uh, the blisters. Um, I'm all right. I've only got two little ones at the back of my foot, but uh, he's got a kind of few. Uh, I had to pop a couple of them yesterday because he couldn't physically couldn't walk on them. Uh, but we won't get into that. What happened? Uh, <laughs> but I think it's is it slate or slain? I don't know. I'm butchering the name probably, but. It, uh, I don't think we'll see. Just over there, over there, it says it's on the app, on the hiker app, it says it's only 1.2 mile away. But by looking at it, it looks further than that. Um, but when we get there, we're going to try and see if we can get some bandages and stuff for his foot. Um, because I had all mine, he's had to use all my uh, bandages on, what he's got so far. But he's doing well. I'm really proud of him, how far he's gotten. He's determined to finish it as well. So we're gonna get there, we're gonna get some water because we're I'm on the emergency ply now, the emergency ply of water. Um But we're gonna try and there get some water, probably get some fizzy pop because that's what that's what me and I'm craving, just some fizzy pop. Um and then we'll try and get some bandages. And then uh, hopefully we're gonna get another two mile after that. And then that'll be the walk done for today, and then hopefully we'll only have eight mile for the last day tomorrow. So I'll bring you back when we're on the trail. Finally arrived. That was a bit of a hill that lake to get up there. Very hot, extremely thirsty. Uh, so got a couple of drinks. Well, oh, couple. Three pound of energy drink. We'll see if there's any water about. Well, if not, we'll have to get something in the shop anyway. So, but we're gonna have a little chill out and then we're gonna crack on. We'll get another at least another two miles done by the day. Hill 
done up there, just to the farmer's field. But, uh, oh, uh, we just got our first glimpse of uh, Whitby Abbey. Don't know if you'll be able to tell. Actually, you can't. I know it's a bit pixelated like. But there you go. So, it's a good feeling when you can see your final destination, as Dan just said that. But so far away. Uh, but it's a bit of a morale boost. Now, I hope you can see it. But we'll be getting there tomorrow morning. Well, hopefully by midday. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna go to another church. I think there is a campsite near it. But when we've looked at the price, they're charging twenty nine pound a night, and it's a bit, I think it's a bit pricey that. But there is a church with a, a little field next to it, so we're gonna have a look at that. Um, hopefully we can get on there and just just stay hidden. But it's starting to it's starting to rain a little bit now. But let's keep going. Right, guys. Uh, a slight problem. We are in Rus Ruswarp, just outside of uh, Whitby, I'm just out on the outskirts, little village. Um, we've got a train station, pub, but we're not going to go in there. But we just uh, we've got nowhere to stay. There's just nowhere to camp. Um, if it's all private land, like uh, like farmers. Or oh, it's Pittles Gardens on the river. That's where the plan was going to be. But um, we were going to follow the route to... I can't remember where the place was now. Sneeton. Sneeton. Sneeton? Um But bastard farmers, when they've got a route, they've, che they've fenced all the route off, so you can't get there. Um, and the sign's being put up, but they say the sign's being put up. Um, saying that they took a diverted route, but the, we were looking around this farm for ages trying to find the route, couldn't find it. We got attacked by dogs. <clears throat> Look, I was ahead of Dan, so I got I got out the farm, out the yard, and everything before the dogs came running over. But uh, <laughs> Dan can't move. Either. As you can tell, he can't walk very good. <laughs> Right. Um, so the dogs caught up and straight away, and they were very, very, really aggressive. Um, I thought when I heard back, I thought the dog was actually biting him, but it caught Danny. Didn't bite him, but it was it was close to his hand to biting him. Um, but they were just they were just following. Even when we got out, when he, even when he got out the, the yard, um, the dogs still were still going for Dan. So bastard farmers. Um, I know it's their land and stuff like that, but when there's a, like a trail on there, they've fenced it off. But it's it was not like like was it yesterday? Uh, was it uh, no? The first day of the trail, um, when we were coming out of I can't remember the place was now at the beginning. I keep forgetting it. But we came through all these fields and stuff like that. All the the trail was all overgrown. It's a bit loud. We are in a bus station. No, bus stop, sorry. That's where we'll be staying tonight in a bus stop. Um, they fenced all the, all the trail off so he could put his cows on the field. Um, so we had to find an, another alternative route a bit further down into the field and then hop, hop over a fence to get through, to go around. Um, but where we were up there, on top of, on top of the, the hill where this farm was, um, he's just comp there's just no way to get through at all. It's all barbed wire, so we weren't risking that. And if we did want to go the other way, you're talking another at least six to seven mile on top of that to get around. It was just an absolute ball ache. But then when we found a way off the farm and stuff like that, we did hit a road, but the road's too dangerous. There's just there was nowhere to walk on it, so you'd be walking on a main road. And if you get called up, pulled by the police for that, you're gonna get a fine, aren't you? So we weren't risking that. So we've ended up in Rush War. It's just on the outskirts, but the trail, what we've seen, it's a walk to Whitby type of trail. 
we're going to go down, back down where the bridge was early on, where you will see. And then we're going to turn left there. And we're going to fold the road up. Then we'll have to go up a bit of a bank. But then it'll put us back on the trail in the morning. So we'll have to be up early um, to get up that before there's any car to, cars and stuff like that. Um, so that is the update so far. So we'll be uh, sleeping in a bus stop. So all fun and games. But we'll be my first bus stop where I've stayed in. So how are you feeling, Dan? Fucked. Anything else? Pissed off? Oh, I'm pissed off. It's just until it's a nightmare, isn't it? Can't move. We will get there. Slowly. I might get there. You will, man, you will. We'll get there. His blisters are getting worse, but it's not far now. As we're going to say, just keep saying it's not far. Get that Abbey at the morning. Hopefully, fish and chips tomorrow. That's what we're looking forward and to. And a pint. And a pint, high. So, we're going to cut out. We'll have an hour or two. Let everything die down round here, and then we'll get something to eat, and then uh, we'll just chill out for a bit and get our heads down and be up early in the morning. But, uh, just gone past eight o'clock, or just near about. Uh, we've got tea on. I'm having uh, chicken tikka curry and rice. Dan's having uh, sausage casserole. And I've got an old army uh, rat pack, so I've given that to him. Look like I brought some spares, or we would have been uh, quite hungry. So, got all that going. Just hope there, there's no one who's nosy enough to come in and start kicking off. But I don't think there's anyone about now, like, so, so I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee as well. All good, we're still having a good time. Including our feet, uh, being in bags for three days, because our boots are being wet. And my boots are starting to fall a bit. As you can tell, my boots are not very good, are they? Starting to come away. I've only had them three months, and they're gone. Get me buy all these specials. All these, these are trespass, trespass. You know, I haven't done a very good job. Like these are not very meant to be. In the last in the shop turned around to me, and she turned around. And she goes, "Oh, these are really good boots. They're waterproof." Um, they'll last you for a good couple of years. They've lasted us three months. Absolutely dis disgraceful. I need to buy myself a pair of uh, high axe. That's why I want a pair of high axe. They weren't so expensive. Right, we're going to get this cracked on anyway, and uh, I'll probably bring you back later on.